The Avid Pro Video team is proud to launch a new update of Media Composer with tons of exciting new features, making it the most versatile and accessible tool for professional creative editorial. You'll see this update as an editor patch or full installer in your application manager when connected to the internet. If you don't have an internet connection on your system, just go to your Avid Master Account or the Video Download Center to download the latest version. You're entitled to this new update if you have a subscription, floating, or a perpetual license that is under an active upgrade and support plan. This video is geared to give you a brief overview of what to expect in Media Composer 8.4. And as always, to get more details on these features, changes, and bug fixes, download the README and the What's New Guide on our Media Composer documentation page. Simply go to the knowledge base and search for Media Composer documentation if you're having trouble finding it. So let's take a look at what's new in Media Composer 8.4. In this version of Media Composer, you can set custom frame sizes for your projects. You can choose from all the current supported frame rates from 2398 to 60 frames per second. Enter even values in the raster dimension boxes with a minimum size of 256 by 128 and a maximum size of 8192 by 8192. For stereoscopic projects, the height must be divisible by 4 and the width divisible by 8. You can save custom raster dimensions by clicking the Save Preset button so the next time you open a new project, this preset will be available under the Format drop-down menu as My Presets. Media Composer now includes native support for the Sony XAVCI format using the latest Sony AMA plugin. We're also including ProRes 2K, 4K, and ultra high definition media. Simply link to these formats and play back the clips in real time. With this release, you can now preview closed captions in the record monitor, source monitor, pop up monitors, and in the timeline D track. Pop up, roll up, and paint on captions are now supported. You can even edit and add filler inside the caption play area on the D track. The new timeline quick find field allows you to enter text that you can search for in your timeline. To customize the search, use the text field drop down menu and select which text options you want to search for visible timeline text, resolution, clip name, comments, markers, all or a combination. Click the Find Left or Right buttons to continue searching for the text in your sequence. Three menu picks have been added to the Edit menu to map these commands to your keyboard. Timeline Quick Find, Timeline Quick Find Next, and Timeline Quick Find Previous. It's now possible to resize the monitors in Media Composer to a much larger size than before. This is especially useful when working in effects mode. A menu option has also been added to the special menu to map the show single dual monitor menu command to your keyboard. This makes switching from dual to single monitors super easy. Clips that have source side color, spatial, and motion adapters now have these effects indicated by different icons. Temporal adapters appear with a T. Spatial adapters appear with an S, and color adapters appear with a C. Go to the Timeline Fast menu to choose which adapters you want to appear on the timeline. The AAX factory provided presets and Pro Tools are now available in Media Composer. By accessing the Audio Suite or Audio Track Effect, you can choose the factory default plugin settings or a preset setting. Make adjustments and select the Save As to save that adjusted setting. The Save setting appears as a selectable preset when you choose that plugin. Timelines that contain alpha channels can now be exported as QuickTime DNX HR files. Using a third party application, you can create QuickTime wrapped DNX HR movies that contain an alpha channel and fast import and link these files into Media Composer. Through the Export Settings dialog, you can now choose to include inactive audio tracks. 
When this option is selected, inactive audio tracks will be included with the exported sequence. This option is on by default. Also note that the terminology for use enable tracks has been changed to use selected tracks. Manage your default setting for linked media by choosing letterbox, pillar box, center crop, center keep size, or stretch. This setting is available in the settings, link, link options. There's also an option to set SD clips as 16 by 9 by default. This setting forces all SD media to be tagged as 16 by 9. All references of AMA are now referred to as link. This will be most notable for AMA settings that now appear in the link settings option. The gray target mask option has been replaced by mixed to white and mixed to black masks. You can change these mask colors in the target mask submenu of the source and record viewers. In previous releases of Media Composer, you could only transcode to the media's original frame rate when working with greater than HD projects. With this release, this also applies to SD and HD projects. When Keep Source's frame rate is selected, you will see a list of available DNxHR codecs. If you need to use an older codec in HD or SD, you will have to select Convert to Project Frame Rate. These are just some of the main features of the Media Composer 8.4 update. For a full list of features, more details, changes, and bug fixes, download the README and the What's New Guide on the Media Composer documentation page located inside the Avid Knowledge Base. We know you'll enjoy these new updates, and we're excited to share more as we continue to make Media Composer the most versatile and accessible tool for professional creative editorial.